One of the most promising opportunities for genetically modified crops is in creating foods that are far more resistant to natural pathogens and insects. Plant diseases, such as late blight that affects potatoes, destroy billions of dollars of crops every year and require farmers to routinely douse their plants with fungicides. By inserting a gene gleaned from a wild variety of potato, researchers at Wageningen University in the Netherlands have bred a plant that is far more resistant to late blight. Last year, scientists at Chagas, Ireland's National Agricultural Research Agency, began growing the genetically modified potato at its test facilities in Carlo. Ewan Mullins, a senior researcher at Chagas, is supervising the trials. It's very easy to pick out which ones are the non-GM, i.e. the very susceptible variety, because as we look over here, you can see you have a completely brown, devastated looking plot over to my left. And that is basically the impact of potato blight disease. However, when you look over here to the right, what you then see is this is a, the exact same variety, uh, which is a Desiree, which has been modified with this wild resistance gene taken from the wild potato species. This was done by our colleagues in the University of Wageningen in the Netherlands. And you can see that this particular variety does very well. So this is, this is basically what, what people would have experienced during the famine. Um, when they would have come out, they would have seen total crop destruction, leaves burnt off um, from the blight infection leaves completely destroyed and the soft mushy stem and what happens is is that when you get an infection starting in the leaf um, you start to get spirulation spores are spread in the around the area into the other plants and the fungus uh, the pathogen starts to migrate down through the stem into the tuber so the difference is very stark obviously we have resistance with this variety um, and the only difference between the two is that this one doesn't have that wild gene now the critical thing is how long is this going to stay green and we don't know that and that's one of the reasons why we want to do this research because we know blight will evolve, we know the strains will adapt, the question is how quickly will they adapt. Potatoes are, are really important. We have, the industry has worked up to 250 million a year depending on the year. Um, but it's a very high cost industry. There's a lot of cost for farmers to grow potatoes, um, but the Irish consumer loves their spud. Um, and nobody wants to see, even though potato consumption is dropping with you know, people switching more to rice and, and pasta, uh, I think it's probably part of our heritage. And nobody wants to see it disappear, but we need to be aware that potato production in Ireland is facing very significant threats um, in that commercial production is becoming more and more difficult and we need to have options in regard to that. And to get those options, we need to do more research. For now, there are no plans to make a GM potato that is resistant to blight available to farmers in Ireland or anywhere else in Europe. But the fields of Carlo are providing a tantalizing picture of a future in which farmers are no longer obligated to repeatedly douse their crops with fungicides, and Ireland is finally free of the torment of potato blight.